Hey, Snackers. This is Kareem Iskander. I'm a tech advocate with Cisco Learning and Certification. Hey, everyone. Matt Napoli. I'm a manager of developer advocacy with Cisco DevNet. Welcome to episode 48 of DevNet Snack Minute. DevNet Snack Minute is your 10-minute weekly all things DevNet, where we talk about APIs, coding, or just some cool stuff that you might like to know. And the cool thing we're going to talk to you about today is uh, automation boot camps with our guest, uh, Par Marat. Par, do you mind introducing yourself? Hey, thank you so much. I am really excited to be here, and I can't believe I missed the first 47 by not being here. So I'm super excited <laughs> to be here. Thank you. So I'm the I'm the vice president of uh, Cisco Learning and Certifications, and as I've known you guys for a long time, um, and we've we've just done some great things together. As as m many of you may know, uh, I was one of the founders of DevNet, so I've had the pleasure of working with the whole team since the get go, <laughs> and just tremendous kudos for the community that's been built, and and all of you for participating in the community. Yeah, I've worked with you for a long time, Par. It's great to have you on Snack Minute finally. Thank you for joining us. Uh, so you mentioned that we're talking about boot camps today. Can you give us a little bit of information on how boot camps got started and potentially um, how they came about? Yeah, so that's a great question. So as as many of you know, you know, Cisco and Learning has had a long history of immersive classroom as well as in recent years, uh, digital learning and training. And in a in a digital training, you know, it's a consecutive one to two week sort of a training where it's instructor led and and it's still very immersive and with self paced, it's you know really at the learner's pace. But what we did and, and we did with your help and DevNet's help is we really took a customer first approach of this. And the team that put this together did a lot of discussion and gathering of customer requirements and talking to leaders of teams inside of IT organizations and really asked, you know, what was needed to really take training and really make those skills immersive and real world so that at the end of that training, people had the skills, the confidence, the know-how and the mindset to really be able to solve the business challenges. But I'm going to turn this over to both of you because I think both of you had a hand in the actual creation of these boot camps as well. I was I was fortunate enough to be a part of a few of the conversations with the customers early on when we were talking about if they would like to go through the boot camp process. And I was focused, of course, on on Meraki. And um, what was interesting was I had some use cases in mind that they would be walking through and we'd be building out the hands on experience for them. And actually through a couple of conversations with a number of partners, um, it validated uh, some of the ideas that I had. It actually, um, you know, made that light bulb go off for a couple of other ideas that we could put forward. Um, and it was really exciting um, to see that they were excited about that immersive experience and, and wanted to get involved in something that was a little bit different than what they had kind of gone through before. And, and to the point they were saying, well, we don't want to just put them in a room for a couple of days and have them kind of walk through these these labs, we want to be able to ask questions and get answers from SMEs and have these kind of open-ended experiences. And it was like, oh man, that sounds so exciting. We can't wait to put to, put it together for you. Um, so uh, being able to be part of that build out was was super exciting and have those conversations with customers because it was um, it just validated all those ideas that we had. What was exciting watching, you know, you guys create this new, you know, evolution of of learning and training was the experimentation that went in. So you guys would come back, you would you would modify it, you would look at, you know, what is that tailored piece need to be because every customer environment is different. And so what is so terrific about these is that each one is tailored to the team that is going to take this boot camp. And so there's input and output and and I think that is a very unique, almost a cohort approach to a tailored uh, team of what the that that solution or that outcome in the training needs to be for the expertise. So congratulations, it's a hit. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, Par, with that said, can you tell us a little bit about um, what kind of boot camps do we currently have, and you know, for our viewers could check out. Sure. Um, so we we started out with you know just strictly 
uh, the idea, and I, I, as you mentioned, ACI and automation. And what we found very quickly was automation is not the same size. And in this, I, I, I love the term ever expanding digital fabric that we live in. It just keeps growing and growing and the use cases keep growing and growing. And so what we have now are uh, Cisco training boot camps. There are nine days of training programs and they're delivered over eight weeks, right? So they're not a, a back to back, uh, you know, they're really extended. And over that eight week time, uh, you can go through a cohort of up to 12 learners. And so again, the schedule really gives you the time to absorb the new material and also apply it to the solutions that you're trying to solve. So because they're tailored, you know, there's experimentation, there's the conversations, uh, you know, with these SMEs and, and you know, uh, you guys may make cameos now and again, but there's there are SMEs <laughs> who really have deep subject matter expertise. And it's terrific that we have a total of seven. Five are absolutely dedicated to really automation across enterprise networking, ACI, Meraki, NSO, and NX. OS, which is always a mouthful to say. <laughs> uh, and then we have um, two that are focused on operations and troubleshooting. And those are really on some of our more complex, uh, you know, you guys know better than I do, this, this technology can be very complicated. And so we've really dedicated yeah. to uh, one to ACI and one to SDA. Yeah, that's super exciting. Um... I've not been as, as involved lately in the boot camp process, but uh, it's fun to see that that evolve. And you mentioned earlier that it's been a success, but can you talk about you know some of the feedback and how people are liking them? Yeah, um, so we we get very positive feedback through uh, you know the individual uh, cohort scores. Like, what did you get out of this as an individual and as a learner? And one thing that I'm super proud of um, as being the leader of this organization is our feedback is pretty consistently positive. There's always room for improvement, but it's pretty consistently we have very high scores, uh, either directly through our, our training done through Cisco or through our valued learning partners. So that I'm super proud of. But what is remarkable about this offer is that we're getting the feedback from the actual um, benefactors, you know, those people that paid and funded this kind of training. And, and really, you know, because I think in today's world, leaders realize that everyone needs to have this continuous learning. Technology is moving so quickly. And so learning is absolutely critical for success. But with this cohort approach to our boot camps, customers are realizing really quickly that this new approach, this new learning style is delivering tangible results to their outcomes. When they walk away, when they're done with this, you know, uh, extended sort of training, they're able to implement, they're able, they, they will have already gone through a problem solving uh, sequence so that they can actually hands-on change the way they're doing things i'll call it day two as they as they you know <laughs> progress through the training so that that's been super super terrific and and again it's immersive it's hands-on you're talking to a subject matter expert you're learning with a cohort um and this has been so successful in fact that we've we were asked to open it up and in fact it's it's this community that said you know it's great to go with my team but in, not everybody can go at the same time. So if you can give us the topic and, and there's still a lot of value, maybe even more value if we can talk to people that are other in or, other organizations to do this. So it's all been it's all been pretty darn good. Oh, that's fantastic news. I didn't know that was happening. That's great. Yeah, that's great. <laughs> so I think you touched a little bit on that uh, part, but briefly, could you just tell us what am I gaining from, you know, joining these boot camps besides hanging out with Matt and Kareem? <laughs> well, some people, especially Matt and Kareem, would say that's quite enough. Exactly. <laughs> if you're lucky enough to have uh, us. <laughs> yeah, exactly. But if, but if I had to say like really three things, it is really getting the hands-on experience real time with actual coding and, and automation tasks. Uh, and and I, I don't think I can downplay enough really the confidence that you get out of these boot camps, 
because you can begin to implement, you know, your these solutions in your own environment. And then again, it's not just a one and done because these new skills that you learn allow you to take this into your organization and really be a drive and a culture change agent within your organization. And Absolutely. one little, one other little plug, you know, all of these can be funded either through your account manager, through Cisco learning credits, or if you want to just go ahead and, you know, um, uh, pay for them via credit card. So we have, we, we make it very easy to join in, into these, uh, into these discussions and these, these opportunities. Well, that's fantastic part. Um, unfortunately, that's all the time we have uh, for this episode. Uh, but before we let you go, uh, we ask this of all our new guests, um, what superpower would you have and why? Oh my God. Why, why, why that question? So actually yeah. I'm, 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 I'm exaggerating because I know you guys asked this. So I gave it some thought <laughs> and, and, and of course there was the, you know, oh, I want to see the future. I want to do this. I want to do that. But with everything that's going on in the world right now, I thought if I could control the elements, that could save oh. a lot. That could save our environment. Yes. That could save on costs for you know uh, uh, heating right now, which I think is top of mind for a right. lot of people, as well as you know just our food supply. So I mm. think that would just run the gamut of everything. And so if you can give me that superpower, I will use it for good. I wish I had the ability to give you that superpower because yeah, exactly. that sounds great. <laughs> <laughs> myself first. Well, Par, thank you for joining us today on uh, DevNet Snack Minutes. Uh, everyone, uh, go check out uh, Automation Boot Camps, and we'll see you next time on uh, Snack Minutes. Thank you, Snackers. Thanks, Par. Thank you.